Hey everyone, I'm back again after a few years of not making any videos about my bags. Um, I decided to come on here to actually record a video because after many years, I feel that Coach has actually started coming back. And I have a friend that made fun of me for a few years because I never stopped liking Coach. And here I am, X amount of years later, with a little Coach collection that I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, one of the first things that I ever got with my own money that nobody gifted me was a belt because everybody needs a decent belt. Uh, this is a uh, coach belt. I'm not sure if you can see, hopefully it'll focus. It's a like a brown pebbled leather and it's the only belt that I've owned over the past, I would say 10 years that hasn't shredded to bits. And I believe when I first got this, this was, uh, it was like $50 and it's lasted me so long. I remember when I first bought it and it was brand new. The inside was a, uh, it was like a, a regular bachetta, so a veg uh, vegetable tan leather. Uh, and it was almost like a, like a pale, like a, I'll put a picture up so you can see. And after the years, it's gotten this really beautiful patina really really nice smooth leather on the inside uh, I do wish that they would have done the same leather on the outside but then it probably would not have lasted as long so I, in a way I'm glad that at least I do have it uh, and that it's kept up really well uh, one thing that did happen is of course from like stretching it and pulling it and, and losing weight gaining weight <clears throat> is that the holes here for the belt loops started uh, I guess I like warping a little bit, but nothing too bad. And you can see it from that side. That's the uh, label on the inside. Hopefully that focused, if not then, sorry. Uh, another piece that, this one I just got recently and this one was from the outlet, was one a giant belt bag. They, um. I've always wanted a fanny pack, if I guess that's what you call it. And a couple of years ago, I had purchased an Adidas one. It was made of nylon green. It was, you know, nice, simple. It was like 20 bucks, but it, everything would, that I would keep inside would just poke through the nylon. So it got really uncomfortable and I would have it like across my chest or my back. And it, it just wasn't comfortable to actually use. Plus, it didn't really carry as much. I had uh, like three, four pockets, but it didn't carry as much as I thought it would. So then I saw this one and I decided to get this. It's um, one thing that I really liked was that the zipper was plastic. I don't know if you can see that. So it's not like the, um, it doesn't have that metal zipper that, that catches really easily and also smells like nickel. Cause I think that's what coaches has always used uh, for their zippers at least. I know their hardware is brass, but uh, their zippers have been nickel. So I was really happy to find one that had um, a plastic zipper. Uh, this buckle, let's see if you can see that, is solid, I don't know, solid some kind of metal. And it's really, really heavy, like extremely heavy, like to the point that it's like, if you hit someone with this, it'll hurt really bad. This bag has the front pocket. Once you open that up, it has a little pocket on the back here. And then you have the Creed, the Coach Creed right there. And that's pretty much it. The space is just open, but the good thing is that it's really big. And then on the back, you have this other pocket, which usually I keep my uh, cell phone, keys, um, and cards just because I don't like them being too vulnerable up front. And then here, it's the same thing, just an open pocket. Oop, these are my earplugs for work. Okay, that's what fell out. Earplugs for work. Now, about two years ago, I became obsessed with miniature versions of bags, and Coach came out with this little, I guess a little collection of accessories where they made miniature versions of 
their purses, their saddlebags, their, uh, their backpacks. And of course, I ended up getting the backpack. I, I love it. It's it looks like it's a full grain leather because you can see the grain you can see the um, when you stretch it you, you see the pores of the leather itself and it's really high quality leather for what it is and on the back it's just all the panel <clears throat> this is one solid piece and the uh, like dark uh, hardware the zipper is plastic as well uh, the pole is metal, I guess it's made of nickel or brass, I'm not sure what they use. And um, the inside is just a little, it looks like a, a cotton, some type of cotton lining. Let's see if that focuses. And it says coach somewhere around there. And then here in this front little pocket, it actually is functional. So you can put, I don't know, whatever you can fit in there. But if I flip this over, I'll flip up that little panel. So I could bring it up close to the camera and you can see that you you see the uh, the flesh side of the leather which usually is an indication of either uh, it's either a split um, or if you can see that grain structure then it's a uh, full grain or top see if you can that's that little flap folded over you see and I love it it got so soft. Um, of course, I would condition it with either the leather conditioner that Coach sells, um, or honestly, just hand lotion, which has always worked really well for me. Um, and it's gotten so soft. It's one of my one of my favorite pieces. I love it. And continuing on with the miniature version of it, or with the miniature collection of uh, bags, this one was actually it was just released recently. I think within like the last couple of months. It was, it's a, um, it says, this, I'm reading the creed on the back. It says, this is a coach bag made of the finest materials. It is part of a special collection of archival coach silhouette remade for now, because some things are too good to leave in your archives. And then it says serial number and limited edition on the bottom. This is the coach This is the Coach Saddle uh, keychain, I guess. And beautiful, beautiful leather. It's uh, glove tan leather, as you'll see once I flip it open. This is solid brass. This key ring or D ring is also solid brass, or carabiner is solid brass. It has one um, rivet in leather and brass. And this is the Creed. Put that up there so you can read that. And I, I really love the colors, the color combination, at least for this one, uh, because I wanted something that wasn't just black or wasn't just brown or just a, a solid color. I wanted something with a little bit more personality because they had a, a bunch of colors, but the ones that I was in between was the, it was like a baby blue color, which I'll put up here. And this one, of course, and I did also see the black one, which was a safe bet, but I figured I already had a bunch of other things that were all black. Um, so I figured I would just go with this one and I ended up really liking it. So again, that's the front panel. It's a twist lock. And then when you open it up, it says the glove tan leather. It's really soft on the inside. The only thing is that I'm not sure exactly what glove tan leather means. Uh, just because coach is really bad at explaining it so what happened is i chat i uh, went onto the coach website and i started to chat with one other reps and they did tell me that this bag uh, or glove tan leather is just chrome tan and that's it <laughs> so it's just chrome tan leather um she didn't the person that i was on on the chat with she didn't mention if there were any like plastic coatings or anything on there i, I would imagine that there's some something on here i can't really tell i'm not a leather expert maybe somebody can please tell me um but you can kind of see i'm not sure if you can see it here but maybe it's not close enough i'll post some pictures of the grain but the inside and the outside are completely different textures like that's the inside it's it's like really smooth a little bit more wrinkly and then the 
other side is even smoother, but you see pores, but no wrinkles like you do on the inside. And then this is the inside of the bag. There's really nothing to it. It's just a little pouch maybe for coins. They say an ID fits, but they're lying because it really doesn't. I tried every single way and it didn't fit. Here's a card that I have. And they say, you can flip it open and stick the card in there. But if you do, because these sides are curved, if you push this card any further down, it'll end up tearing the sides, or the, I guess the gussets as, as they're called. So I would not recommend using it for cards. Um, I would just attach it to a bag that you have and honestly keep it at that. Sorry, I need a drink of my cranberry juice. All right. So just to recap, with what I've shown so far, pebbled, uh, I guess, pebbled leather. I don't know what kind of leather. Really nice texture. This one is, a, I guess, a refined or smooth leather. You can see the texture there. You know, a lack of texture. Then there's the one that's closest to full grain, which is this guy. see the yes that you can definitely see the texture of the leather and then this which is the um what was it the glove tan the original glove tan and there's actually one more <laughs> that i just got it arrived earlier this week and i have absolutely fallen in love with it it's a, a vintage coach bag and um it's uh let me just show you because it's a, a bigger version of this guy. So here's my favorite. It's a coach saddlebag. And what I love about this is that this is a full grain leather, so it's thick. It's heavy, the, the leather, I mean, it's, I, I don't know how many ounces because I don't have a gauge, but it's just, you can, you can tell that this was made in a time where, it, you know, Coach was really paying attention to the materials that they were using. Craftsmanship is still really nice, just kind of like it is today, a little bit better, obviously. But just the, the level of material or the quality of material that's, that was used I guess whenever this was made, which should have been like early 90s or late 80, mid to late 80s, is just on a completely different level. You pull the little button right here, you pull that forward, and the flap opens up, and it just, and this is the strap that it comes with, which I don't, I don't use, I ended up using it, I put a belt through here, and I just wear it as a, uh, as I guess a makeshift belt bag. Um, but look at that, you open this up and it's just like the most beautiful emerald suede on the bottom side. And then here's a glove tan leather, which is what it says in, in the Creed as well, which you probably can't see on this video because the lighting is not as great, I guess on the inside of the bag. You can't really see that. But you have this front pocket, the inner compartment, and then behind the Creed you have another pocket right there. And oh, I love this bag. It's so good, so, so good. Um, and this is the strap again that it came with. Really, really small, thin, delicate strap, brass. It's a nice strap. So I, I really, oh my God, it smells so good. That's another thing. The only thing is that I did notice, I guess because it's so old, the um, hand tag from Coach, it, you can barely see that it says Coach. So it's just like rubbed off after the years and years of use. But it's, you can see the size difference. This still does not fit a cell phone, but it's much bigger than this, which is a small version of it. And the difference is this is a turn, uh, 
turn lock or lock turn, I don't know what it's called. And this is like a push button closure. I actually, I do prefer this and I do, I have seen some that have this turning uh, closure, but then if they have the turning closure, they don't have the, the loops to add a strap or a belt. So that's why I, I really like this one just because it's not immediately noticeable at its coach uh, until you see the tag and then you actually get inside. So that's all I have to show you for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my little mini collection. As I acquire more pieces, obviously I'll start uh, recording and posting more for everyone to see. And um, if you like this video, please consider liking. And um, thank you so much. Have a good day.